All right, is this recording? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, buddy. What's going on? My name is Brian Bauer, back for another video <laughs> looking at websites on NAM weekend because this is the weekend where a lot of the new stuff ends up dropping for a lot of these companies. And I'm not at NAM. As I said in the Shakir video, I'm on the opposite end of the continent. If I had more subscribers, it would probably help to get there a little bit. Hopefully next year I'll actually go. I don't expect to have like, you know, 15,000 subs or something by then, but pff, who knows? You guys can always click the subscribe button and stuff if you like, or like button. Anyway, again, I'm just doing discussion videos. They're a little bit on the long side, but whatever. It seems that those get engagement. So any point along the way, leave your comments or your questions or anything like that. Today we're gonna check out ESP 2024. I haven't watched any of the videos. I know, uh, old, I, I keep wanting to come to Stave Metal Ray had a video about this and stuff, but I didn't watch it. We're here to form our own opinions. I will say this, guitar price has gone up a lot and ESP is by far no exception. They probably a little overpriced for some things. I do, I've been finding that the last while. But we're gonna go through, we're gonna see, there's a lot of guitars here, so we're not gonna go through all of them. It's a lot, but, we're gonna start right here. We're gonna look at this SN1007 HT Baritone. It's got two, looks like Fishman humbuckers in it. 27 inch scale, so this ain't for your standard tuning, kids. You tune this thing down. Tune it down. I don't know what it's got, is it a hip shot bridge and all that stuff? We're gonna take a look at it. So right away, I, I don't, it's not my favorite guitar. I bet it looks way better in person than it does on this site. And anyway, it's got a bolt on neck, 27 inch baritone, so it's long scale. 27 inches is gonna be really good. It's gonna be an awesome rhythm machine. Maybe not so much a shredder, but it's gonna be a good rhythm machine. I just went over this in the Schechter video. If you wanna play some down tune rhythms, it's gonna be awesome. If you want something that's more shred oriented in a seven string, Maybe get something a little smaller scale, maybe 25 and a half, like the standard one. I love 25 and a half. Even 26 and a half, that little half inch, it can make a big difference. Playing up on like the higher frets, I do find it's a little bit easier. Bends are gonna be a little bit harder. Um, there's ups and downs. Try some of these things out when you can. That's the only way you're gonna know. Um, you can always think you know what you want, and blah, 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 but you really have to play a lot of guitars to really start understanding how it all is and like what the purpose is. And they have different purposes. And this one's no exception. Five piece roasted maple neck, M Macassar ebony fretboard, which that's awesome. Finish, they call it fire blast. You guys can tell me, what do you guys think of the fire blast? Like I said, I bet it looks better in person. Not type is black bone, probably awesome. Neck contour is a thin U. This has 24 jumbo stainless frets. Scallop between 17 and 24. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't have much experience with scallop frets. Um, black hardware, LTD locking tuners. Hey, the locking tuner, whatever. This does have a hip shot bridge and has Fishman Fluence modern humbuckers with El Nico. Uh, I'm not, I don't dislike Fishman's but I don't love Fishman's. Um, I just, I know they work quite well. Like they're good pickups, don't get me wrong. I just, I think I just prefer other pickups, just, just saying. Alrighty, we're gonna jump into the next one because this one catches my eye way more than the last one. This is an LTD Deluxe, okay. This is a one humbucker guitar, S looks Friggin' sweet though. Just, would you look at that? Would you just look at that? <laughs> I love the inlay on that. Inlay is just simple dots but on the top. Gold hardware, Floyd Rose. I'm sure it's like a thousand or something. Um, what, what is it? Let's see. Floyd Rose 1000. It'll be fine. I'm sure it's quite pricey, but let's just take a look. Uh, so this is the LTD Deluxe M1001. It's designed for pure aggressive sound. Listen, this isn't the blues guys guitar. This is for the metal guys. One humbucker, Floyd Rose. It's just screams, thrash, and shredding. Hell yeah. 
Um, so it's got a flat all the top and satin back, sat, satin back, extra thin U-shaped three-piece maple neck. Listen, one of the best necks I have, I'm telling you, is an LTD. Built on with a bolt on, constructs 25 and a half inch scale, bang on. Um, yeah. Let's just see, I'm just kind of going through really quick. Uh, just kind of, just find some point, maybe we get on, I got Grover tuners. It's got a locking nut on it, like it don't matter, it doesn't really matter that much. Are they locking tuners though? If this had locking tuners, like for string changes, that would be amazing. It doesn't, wouldn't stop me from buying it though. Um, again, yeah. Oh, um, yeah, I have similar tuners to this actually on, on my LTD. Um, this guitar right now as an absolute banger in my opinion. Uh, it's just, it's, it's a simple guitar. And I think like I was saying earlier in another video, some guitars should be just simple. Just like, you know, basic functional things. And this one has it. My critique should have the locking tuners just for the string change. It's not going to change much. Floyd Rose 1000. I don't know what the price of this thing is. It's probably going for a lot of money. Um, Oh, but that it, it just it looks wicked so you guys can tell me what you think in the comments but I, I I dig that one so far we're gonna go to the next one here this is a fixed bridge one it's got two humbuckers I think it is cool if they are doing the fishman thing though it's something that people want but that does put the price of the guitars up like you probably could have got away with you don't need fishman you're not gonna you're not necessarily winning by having fishmans in a guitar by the way um, I believe you do have to charge those things too. This particular one is um, they call the it's the, another LTD MH series. It combines the elements of all. Oh, this one has elements of the Horizon models, like the arch top, for, and the uh, and from the Mirage guitars, like it's inline headstock. And I do think this looks good. This guitar that can do no wrong for any style of music, and they're pretty much right. Uh, this would do really good. I have a lot of two humbucker guitars, and they, they do most of it. I am enjoying my middle single coil again. However, you, I don't think you're gonna be buying this to have a blues machine. You're buying this to play, you know, hard rock and heavy metal, man. It's got a two pneumatic bridge. I think it's a Tone Pros locking one. Now. I thought the last one, the Floyd Rose, looks wicked. However, I don't think everybody should or have a Floyd Rose. It's something if you don't need it, don't get it. This string through body, tunematic, hell yes, absolutely killer. Um, this one has the locking tuners, and I think in this sense, in, in this guitar, it probably makes a bit more sense to have that. Um, this has the Fishman Fluence modern. It has the ceramic in the bridge and the Alico the neck. It'll do the thing, don't you worry about that. Uh, 25 and a half inch scale, mahogany body, flame maple uh, top on it, three piece maple neck, super stable. Um, cast are ebony, you know, charcoal bursts, extra thin U, 24 stainless steel frets. I do like the gray finish of this. I do think it looks good. Um, the inlay on it, it's, it's pretty nice too. I, I like the dot in the last one. I think this one fits though. This is still a pretty class looking guitar, man. So I'm not gonna complain. I, I have no complaints. I think this is a nice, simple design. I don't know anything about this. This looks like uh, this is the LTD TL series comprised of transducer electric guitars that offer a unique chambered body. And you get great acoustic tones with the comfort and feel of an electric guitar. This is a win. This is like a competitor to that um, Ibanez Tim Henson that's out there. I bet this is wicked for like if you want something like this. Um, I don't know a ton about it, but uh, let's see. It's a set neck, 25 inch scale. 25 is really nice for something like this, by the way. Um, Actually, it's a scale I kind of like. This is in between like the Gibson and the standard Fender scales, and it's quite comfortable. It, it really is. Um, mahogany body quilted maple, three-piece mahogany neck. Okay, 
rosewood uh, fingerboard fretboard radius 3850 millimeters charcoal burst it looks pretty good um, what I like here is where they what I like here is where they did the um, the charcoal burst it's just the straight black because then people would start with the comparison of the Tim Hansen model I mean I'm kind of doing it too but I, I like that this one's a little bit more unique to um, ESP it looks pretty sweet um, it apparently has a Fishman S Corp pickup in, in it too which is cool Grover tuners GraphTech bridge. What does it have for a nut? GraphTech nut. Yeah. This is a nice guitar. Would uh, definitely like to try it out. Because there's a lot of them. I'm going to start picking the ones that, uh, you know, catch my eye. This red one. It's a red guitar. The only way you can get a faster guitar is you get a green one. Red guitars are still pretty fast. And I mean, you gotta be pretty fast. If you're at a red light, and you're gonna run that. Well, let's hope no other cars are coming. If they are, you really gotta go fast, but green, it always means go, but this is a red guitar. And I'm generally speaking, like red guitars and green guitars, but I'm just going on. Okay, so this one right now, it looks like, you know, here's what I like. Passive pickups. There's no batteries to charge in a passive pickup. I like that. And this one, what I like is it has a single coil in the neck position. Now, this has a Floyd Rose 1000 kind of deal with it. Um, but it is, I do like this quite a bit. Let's see, it's a neck through guitar, which is really awesome. 25 and a half inch scale. This is a shredder, man. Love that. All their body, three piece maple neck, candy apple red, locking to. Now, this one. Oh, no, no. That's a locking nut. Locking nut. Sorry, sorry. It doesn't have. It's just LTD tuners. Okay. I was, get, I was getting excited there for half a second. Let's see what, what Seymour Duncans has to come with. Uh, a hot rail in the neck and a Seymour Duncan custom in the bridge. And it has a pull tone for the split, which. This would be a really, really nice guitar, okay? Um, it's kind of just simple. There's like not a lot we can really, you know, say about this guitar. It hasn't been said about guitars like this before. Just because it's, but it's, it's a humbucker with Floyd Rose, a neck pickup for a metal machine. I, I know this thing plays awesome right now. Assuming that they're manufacturing these things pretty good. I'm sure it's awesome. It looks wicked. I guarantee you it plays wicked. You just gotta get a setup on it. There's um, what's this one? What was the other one? The other one? Oh, these are they're both Horizons, so they have a black one, which is very similar to the other one. Um, same kind of looks like the same kind of deal for both. Tell me, would you like the red or the black? Personally, I'm going for the red in this case. Now, this one, I want to take. Ooh, now this one's kind of cool. This is an arrow. I think the arrow of, for an RR style guitar. I like the arrow. This is seven string, and it is a. Uh, it's got a 27 inch baritone. It's a baritone guitar game with an Evertune, which it's gonna be pretty awesome. Don't let Evertune scare you. Some people are like oh, I gotta learn some new thing, whatever. It's it's simple to work with. String changes are easy. It, I mean, generally speaking, mostly hold their tune. I wouldn't say 100 percent, but they mostly do. Unless I'm doing something wrong, but for recording, oh hell yes, these are so nice. So, the inlay on this thing I quite like. I think they're really nice. Um, it's not just like, it's, it's got more of like a angle to it or something. It's, it's cool. And uh, you know, you gotta be playing metal on this thing. You're not, play, you're not getting this to play country and blues, obviously. I think it looks pretty great and all black and all black ever tuned and kind of stuff with it. Um, yeah. Yeah, if you're into this, that's super cool. Um, personally, not for me. All right, we're gonna jump around a little bit. Uh, again, we're getting a lot of baritones. They have a lot of baritones this time. This one has a hip shot. Whew. If you're gonna get a baritone, would you get a six or a seven? Tell me, 
This one's a six, and it's a 27 inch too. Now this, I think, would actually be more fun, because it's not a seven string, and you can get some really neat probably tunings on the six string for this one, so. This has a uh, modern, Fishman modern ceramic in it. You guys love the Fishmans, that's for sure. It comes tuned B-E-A-D-G-B, -B, which I don't remember is that, if that's the tuning that Carcass or one of them used, but a lot of those bands like Carcass and At The Gates played in like a B tuning on a six string. I cheat and play on a seven. So this would be probably really cool so it's going to hold the string tension for tuning the b i think you'd need it actually it would be a good one but this might be fun was uh, playing slipknot or something on it um speaking of which i'm surprised uh mick doesn't have a signature yet I, I i'm pretty confident that he doesn't right now because it would be the next talk of the town is anything mick does they talk about this one has the 24 uh stainless frets though um, it's scalloped, so this one's a little bit different. Again, locking tuners and pretty bare bones at this point. Like nothing, nothing um, super uh, complex about it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I think I would go for that over the arrow. If I had to go for the baritones, I've seen enough baritones today. We have a few eclipses here. Let's go to page two. Let's see what else we got. Man, okay, man, they really do like the baritones. Now this one is an Eclipse, but it's an Eclipse baritone, which I think is actually pretty cool. I think I'd go, I think I'd try this. This is it's still 27 inch, that's cool. Unlike if Gibson makes their seven strings, it's still 24 and three quarters. Like, no, Gibson. ESP gets it right. Um, Evertune, and I love that it has the gold saddles on it. That looks friggin' sweet. Really friggin' sweet. You priest mahogany neck. I don't know, I'm getting bored with all these uh, baritones though, just be honest. I really think this one does look pretty good. But I'm gonna jump to something else because pff, it's not really doing it for me. Let's take a look at this thing. I don't know what this is. But it looks like a little, uh, what do they call it? Um, the FT in the LTD EC 201 FT. So it's a little eclipse. What's it going on? It's, but it stands for the FT stands for flat top. Okay, and that's what this is. A great looking streamlined EC style guitar. It's built to rock hard. Offers a mahogany body with traditional set neck construction at 24 and three quarter inches. It's the 24.75, but didn't read verbatim along with a thin u-shaped three-piece maple ma or th uh, three-piece mahogany neck where did i get maple from ec 201 ft's roasted J jatoba fingerboard features black bond and pearl alloy block inlays and 22 extra jumbo frets a multi ply black picker it adds to the look of this great value packed guitar so this is going to be on the cheaper end of ltd one pickup pretty simple i think it's cool i feet i know they left the other pickup out to save on cost to keep this thing cheaper personally i still think it should have a, a neck pickup in it but pff, it's still cool i like this i think it's great it's it's gonna be this gonna be a very basic guitar i'll tell you right now um so the mahogany body three-piece mahogany neck roast jatoba see-through black cherry finish i think the finish looks good what do you guys think um not type of molded yeah so this is a lot of corners cut but it's <clears throat> gonna cost quite a bit less than you know the other some of the other guitars we looked at today uh, personally i think it's probably pretty wicked for what it is all right um doo -doo 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 -doo. let's take a look at this arrow really quickly <coughs> I like this. It's got like this. Looks like this. I'm gonna call it root beer finish, but it's probably got some other name to it. <coughs> um, yeah. Okay. Two Fishman humbuckers. I, I personally dig it. Floyd Road 1000 SE. I don't know what the difference between the thousand and thousand SE is, but I really I like that finish, and I bet in person it looks really cool. It's neck through guitar. Also pretty neat, 25 and a half inch scale, mahogany body, quilted maple, uh, three piece maple neck. So finish is called dark brown sunburst satin. 
personally, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, extra thin use, 24 extra on both stainless frets. Probably want a fair amount for this guitar, I'm thinking. LTD is getting more and more expensive. Back of that looks really nice, really nice backside. I think Schechter does a little better. That's pretty cool. All right, looks like a Doom, Stoner Doom guitar here we got coming up. Oh, it's uh, Bill Keller's Signature Series. Oh, Butter Slacks from Mastodon. Mastodon, pretty fun. Let's see what this guitar is, a 25 inch scale. That's wicked. So it's got kind of a funny shape, but it's got that kind of like doomy, sludgy, stoner kind of feel to it. And that fits Mastodon. It's called the Royal Shiva. 25 inch, that's kind of interesting because they've tuned down quite a bit, but I've heard a thing where having a shorter scale, but tuning down in that style of music, Actually, like it's not, it, it can get a little flubby sounding, but it actually kind of adds to the sound. It's kind of like was known for a lot of those bands played Les Pauls and SGs that were all 24 and three quarter inch scale. Um, it's got a bone nut, all that stuff, a U neck contour, uh, 22 extra jumbo nickel hardware, Do -do -do. standard strap buttons, LTD locking tuners. Tone Pro's locking tuna mat and tail piece. That is pretty sweet, actually. And the bridge pickup, and other uh, this so they have Mojo Tone Hellbender. And yeah, okay, that's really cool. This is, yeah, this is, this is called being a riff machine. I'm not gonna buy this to be a shredder. This is called making some of the nastiest riffs you can come up with. Throw some fuzz tone on that thing, and you're in business. It's gonna be a pretty cool guitar. We've seen some of these other flat top guitars. Vipers are a really nice guitar as well. EC1000, uh, those have been around for quite some time. Nothing new there. Here's one that's catching my eye right now. It's called, it's a George Lynch signature. I guarantee, I know it is right off the top of my head. It's got that kind of cool camo. It's called the Desert Eagle. It's got, looks like it's got some Aboriginal vibes here too. So that's kind of neat. Let's just see what it says about that. Because it talks about this a little bit. So this might be cool. Um, George Lynch is one of the world's most respected and influential guitarists and was the very first ESP signature artist to join our company back in the 1980s. The LTD GL. Desert Eagle is a reimagining of his famous kamikaze model, now thematically focused on Native American images and colors. It features an alder body and maple neck joined with bolt on construction at a 25 and a half inch scale. Kamikaze's kanji characters and bombs have been replaced by double feathers and arrowheads in this striking design, which offers subtle black bonding on the body. Okay, this, this is pretty cool, actually. I like it. Oh, it, it's just it's just a nice change up. I like I like the vibe of this guitar. It's pretty cool. You know, it just takes on a little bit of like the Native American culture. I don't know if George is Native American or not, but um, either way, really neat design. George is awesome, awesome player. So yeah, 25 and a half inch scale, their body, maple neck, Kazar ebony. Uh, yeah, locking nut. That con contour is apparently a George Lynch original U. And this has 22 extra jumbo stainless frets, which is pretty awesome. Um, Floyd Rose 1000 SE, Seymour Duncan Distortion. Um, oh, and it has a neck pickup too, and it's an ESP. So this, you have an ESP. Okay. That, I thought they probably had the price of this up because it's a signature. Um, it's a fairly simplistic guitar with just like the one volume knob. Uh, I would play this guitar. I think it looks really friggin' cool. So George Lynch always has cool guitars and this one is no exception to that rule. So I say we look at a couple more. Oh, there's a few here to stick out. The first one that's sticking out to me is this Viper, Viper 1000. So it's kind of like SG. Of ESPs and while I you guys can tell me 
I don't know if I really love the look of the Viper. I think the original SG looks better, but I've played the Viper. And I can tell you right now, the Viper is a better playing guitar than the SG because it fixes a lot of the SG problems. So this is a better guitar. I just think it has that weird, sometimes retro shape to it. And I'm never, I'm not really into those retro funky shaped things. And this has a bit of that going, like a little bit in the shape, but trust me, these are wicked. Vipers are awesome playing instruments. <clears throat> so it's a set neck, 24, three quarter inch scale, just like an SG. Three piece mahogany neck, Kaiser ebony, fingerboard, it's all black. It's got the uh, Fishman kind of thing, ceramic and Nico's going again, Tone Bros, Bridge, LT locking. I think it's a nicely spec guitar. Um, the inlay actually, I don't mind the inlays on this. Um, I like that it is kind of like those big white inlays, not just dark always up. Um, gold hardware on this looks awesome. I think, and I like that they have the, also the gold tuners. Um, the headstock sticks out a little bit, the gold Fishmans. Aesthetically, I do think it looks good color-wise. I just will think the same thing about that body shape every time I see it. It's, uh, if I was going to be choosing an ESP, it probably wouldn't be this, but I mean, it's got mojo, man. It's got mojo. It does. Um, uh -huh. Okay, we have a Gary Holt SV. Okay, so I've only seen one SV, and I saw it over in South Korea. And it was a Japanese guy that owned the guitar. And it was, they were touring there. The band was called Ethereal Sin. And they were a black metal band. And I remember they had an SV. And the SV were actually, I'm pretty sure were a Japanese only. Correct me if I'm wrong. It may not be correct. But I think they were only sold in the European, if not Japanese market only. And the, so the, there was the Alexi Leho model, which had one humbucker. But the SV has two. Gary Holt, being pretty awesome, has the SV for the rest of the world, which is really cool. And uh, anyway, a few guitarists have had a bigger impact on the origins of thrash metal than Gary Holt. Joining his friend Kirk Hammond in the Bay Area band Exodus in 1981, Gary has written and performed every Exodus album ever made when Slayer needed someone he filled in after Jeff Hanneman and, you know, passed away and all that stuff. I'm just, I'm just jumping around here a little bit. Um... So, the LTD SV GH200 allows more players to get the look of Gary's LTD GH SV at an even more affordable price tag. So, it means that they've put some cheaper parts on it, which is good, and I bet it's still expensive. But this one has a Floyd, oh, this one has a, uh, hold up. Let's see. Because this has a Floyd Rose Special on it, makes sense, but what is this saying here? Fingerboard with pearloid split block and lies in 22 extra jumbo stainless steel frets. That's cool for a guitar like this, has the stainless steel frets. It's black hardware components include Floyd Rose 1000. Uh uh, you're wrong, ESP. You said you has a special in the specs. In the description, you're saying it has Floyd Rose 1000 double locking tremolo, and I don't think it does. I think it's special. LTD tuners and a set of direct mount high output ESP LH301 pickups with red covers. I think the red covers look pretty cool in this guitar. And I don't really care about what the pickups do because they're just they're ESP pickups. We're here to play metal. Dial your amp in. <laughs> We're not here to play like, blues in this thing. Okay, so that red binding and that red around the headstock win. LTD logo in red, win. Red pickups, win. Um, specifications and description website not being coherent, not a win. <laughs> ESP, read, double check your stuff. In school, they're always after us. And there's many times I haven't either. But I don't know everything, but I, I'm pretty sure it's a special, okay? If they're cutting corners, it's a special. If it is a 1,000, then that's pretty sweet, but... Yeah, either way, what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty cool. That's a metal machine right there. So, all right, I'm going to jump to the next one. We're almost at a half hour in this one. I uh, already saw a guitar like this. Uh, why is that in there twice? I have no idea. Viper 1000, Vintage Black, Viper. 
it's just a for you page or something i don't know okay so pff, anything else we want to look at maybe this one this is one of those uh oh hey, hey. <laughs> i was complaining earlier about the uh the little ft with only one pickup this one has two so they did come back with two pickups so that's cool okay what i think is really awesome there's a few options here i actually quite like i don't know i quite like this but i think if i was gonna <clears throat> go between the two eclipses or like that one with like one pickup and one with the two i think i'd go with one with one just for the sake of maybe i just want to spend a little less money and one pickup guitars aren't bad at all well esp I won't say any revolution from ESP this year at all. I don't, I don't think they really need it to be. There's nothing that super wowed me with any of them. Nothing that just goes like, I would jump out and instantly buy that. I think that first one, if I was going to buy one, that um, the one on the first page there, it was, uh, I got to look at it. These videos are barely edited, by the way. So, yeah, the M1001, that one with the single humbucker. I, I thought that was absolutely killer. Um, otherwise, the, the the George Lynch kamikaze there, the Native American artwork, I thought that looked pretty sweet too. Um, there are some good offerings here, and that's really cool. Um, tell me, what one would you pick? What do you guys think? I'm just here looking at what's going on. I have no real, like, you know, opinion that really is going to matter what you should buy or what you like. You just got to play some guitars, try it out. Some of these things probably like, holy crap, I want that. And I think for some of you, there's going to be that guitar. There's a few unique things here that I didn't see Ibanez or Schechter doing. I haven't checked out any other brands, but... Uh, ESP, I like ESPs. Like I said, some of the necks are some of the best necks I've ever played were ESP necks. Um, even on the, like the lower end uh, of things, I've never played it. I don't have I played an actual ESP. I don't remember. I don't think I have. But um, yeah, I know the price of ESP is definitely up, but all guitar companies' prices are up a ton. Okay, inflation is horrible. Um, but yeah, overall, I think there's some cool offerings. Maybe nothing like that goes, woohoo, I want it. <clears throat> but for some of this like super awesome metal shredding stuff, you're going to find something here. And if it's not in this lineup, the ESP has tons of offerings. So anyway, if you made it this far into the video, 33 minutes in, you know what? You can click the like button. That would be super awesome if you did. Uh, click on the subscribe button is pretty cool if you haven't done that already. If you want to click the notification bell, that would be pretty sweet too. Y'all have an awesome day. And I will see you guys all in the next video. All right. Peace. See us.